Let's get started by creating a new Xcode project. So click that. It's going to be a single view application. I'm going to click next and I'm going to name it. Let's see. I'm going to call it world capital. Hmm. Too many capitals in my capital world capital app. There we go. All right, put in your organization name, your organization identifier, which is usually a domain name in reverse. But if you don't have one, you can use your own name. Uh, let's see, we're going to do set the language to Swift, of course, and it's going to be set for device of iPhone. And click Next. Now you can save it anywhere you want. Hit Create. And we're ready to go. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build out our storyboard. So we're going to go over to the left side and hit main storyboard. And here's our main storyboard. I'm going to click, sorry, click and drag this just a little bit. So uh, it highlights in blue. There we go. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room. See on this left hand side, I call this sort of your documentation tray. I'm going to close it out and to do that, simply go down here to this button and just hit that and it will hide the document outline. There we go. All right, now we've got a little bit more room. So here's our storyboard, but I'm going to change the size. So I go over to my left side pane and if it's not open for you, if you see these three buttons on the upper right, it says hide or show the utilities and you wanna hit the rightmost button. So for instance, if your screen looks like that and you're not seeing your right hand pane, just click on that button. All right. As I said, I'm going to go and change the size of our storyboard. So I go to size, drop down, and I'm going to make it a, let's see, 4.7. There we go. That's a little bit more familiar design that I'm used to working in. All right, let's start building our user interface. The first thing we're going to need, since this app relies on picker views, we're going to need a picker view. In the lower right hand corner, start typing in picker. There you go. We have two picker views. One's the date picker and the other one is a blank picker view. So I'm going to roll that in. Actually click and drag. It rolls. Um, and it's pre-populated with some cities from California, but we're going to fill this with our own information. But I'm just going to put it out on the, on the storyboard for now. All right. What else do we need? Well, we're going to need some image labels, right? Because we're going to need the one to show the country flags and one to show the capitals. So again, lower right hand corner, I'm going to start typing an image and there's my image view. I'm going to put one out here and I'm just going to roughly resize it by just dragging and clicking on those handles. Here we go. That's all right. That's about right. We can adjust it later and I'll show you how to do that. Now I need a second one. I can also drag a second one out like we just did, or as a shortcut, since I've sort of made it the size I want, I'm going to hold down my option button while I click and drag. And you see that green plus button? Um, it's duplicating it. So I'm just going to slide that over and I'm going to, while I'm still holding down the option key, release the click and now release the option. All right, there, good. Now you have two identical image views. The next piece of this is we're going to need some labels to show what the country is and what the city is. So I'm going to start again, lower right hand corner, start typing in label. And here comes the label. I'm going to click and drag, actually, yeah, click and drag it out. Put one roughly under the left hand side. And I could do the same thing like I did up here, which is uh, hit the option on a Mac or Alt and control click and make a duplicate copy. But I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to click and drag it this way. You, it's all up to you. It doesn't matter what you do. There we go. So I'm going to give ourselves some room because some of these have quite a long name and same with the countries. Let's see. I'm going to go over here. And again, just increasing the size. And we're going to need another label to display when we have selected the correct flag for the correct city, capital city rather. So this is going to be sort of our message label and I'm going to bring it down here. I'm gonna really enlarge this one. Again, I'm just clicking and dragging the sides of it. 
because we have a lot to display here, especially if we get it correct. So I'm going to click on that. You see how it's clicked? I'm going to go over here into the inspections and it's that label. I'm going to go down to the second line and just say, find the capital. All right, click out of that. There we go. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while. And I'm going to align it center. So again, I'm going down here into the alignment and hit this middle button. All right. I'm also down below. I'm going to give ourselves a little bit more room because there, I know it does sort of run over to almost like two lines of text. So I'm just going to give myself three lines. And again, I just do that by toggling up and down on these on these side buttons. And now we're ready to connect this to our viewcontroller.swift file. So I'm going to go over to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to hide the utility utilities pane. Uh, I'm going to open up our assistant editor, which is this second to the left button. I'm going to open that up and that is automatically going to our viewcontroller.swift file. Now we're ready to make connections. I'm going to click on the left UI image view. I'm going to control drag over to the right hand side and uh, the connection is going to be an outlet and I'm going to name it image one and it's a type UI image view and hit connect. And let's do that with the second one. I'm going to click on it, control drag. So I'm getting that blue line. I'm going to give ourselves some room right in between that. And again, it's an outlet and I'm going to name this image two. Not very unique names, but it keeps everything consistent. And I'm going to hit connect. There we go. All right. Now I really need to give myself some room here because I'm, I've got a lot more connections to make. All right. There we go. The next thing I'm going to do is the label. Again, control, click and drag and release. And then as an outlet, and this one is going to be called label one of you type UI label and hit connect. And you guessed it for the next label. We're going to control click and drag. We're going to make sure that's an outlet and this is going to be label two, keeping it nice and simple. Let's go down to our message down here. Control click and drag. Again, you know the drill, it's an outlet. I'm gonna call this message. Message, yeah, that works. Message is a good name for it. And again, UI label and hit connect. And what else is left? Okay, our picker view. So again, give myself some room over here. Go over to the picker view, control, click and drag. And it is an outlet. And I'm gonna call this picker view. There we go. And that is of type UI picker view and hit connect. There we go. The last part of connecting the interface is to assign this picker, actually this view controller as the picker view delegate. And what we need to do is we're going to close out this assistant editor by just going over to the left button over here. And I'm going to open up the right hand pane. There we go. I make sure I have my picker view selected and I'm going to go over to the rightmost button over here. It's got sort of that arrow that says show the connections inspector. I'm going to click on that and down here where it says outlets, I'm going to go to this circle that says delegate. I'm going to click and drag. See, I've got that blue line going all the way over to our view controller, sort of this yellow button up here. All right. There we go. That has assigned it as our as our um, as our delegate, as our picker view delegate. And in the next video, I'm going to show you where in our view controller.swift we actually type in that it's a UI picker view delegate and data source.